Franklin Pierce just dumps it back the other way. Skyhawks again retrieve for Met. Stretch pass through the middle. Mead is in on a breakaway. Ryan Mead dangles, but can't tuck it home past Wallace as Wallace stuck with him the whole way. Still loose in front. And the Skyhawks score. Connor Jewett collecting the pass in front. Wallace out of position, and it's an easy finish. 1-0 Stonehill. Shepardson trying to steer it in front for Franklin Pierce. Skyhawks force a turnover. Now Maloney into the zone. He fires and scores. Seamus Maloney jumping around the defender at the blue line. Goes in on Ian Wallace and beats the sophomore goaltender to make it 2-0. Stonehill with 3.03 to go in the first period. Stiehouse win the faceoff and immediately score. It came out to Connor Collier. It got a deflection on the way as Wallace was moving the opposite direction and the Skyhawks make it 3-0. Enters the zone along the near side boards. Fires a shot, tried to catch Palmer's short side and it was st steered away. Now the Skyhawks coming the other way in an odd man rush. Shot by Maloney, he scores. Jameis Maloney, second of the game. And it's 4-0 Stonehill with 8.17 to go in the second period. Skyhawks in the face off shorthanded as Murray tries to rattle it around the far boards and out. It's kept in at the point by Williams. Nicolopoulos back to Williams. Now Shepardson at the top of the far circle. Shepardson throws it down low to Nicolopoulos. Looking for the tip in front, it's a goal. Sean Crowley waiting patiently at the top of the crease undefended. Puts one up and over Palmer and makes it four to one. The shutout no more for Stonehill. Cross ice pass to Indelicato. Delicato holds, centers it. Now back in front, stopped by Palmer off the shot by Nicolopoulos. What a save, Billy Palmer. With one minute to go in regulation. Billy Palmer tracking the play the entire way. Came across to deny Nicolopoulos. Back out toward Williams over on the far side. Now Maloney throws it back up the middle. Puck on edge, could slide all the way down to the net, and Maloney with the goal from 200 feet in the hat trick. And they clear the zone as time expires. Stonehill with their first victory of the season. Five to one uh, in convincing fashion over Franklin Pierce, all thanks to a Seamus Maloney hat trick. And a solid performance all around by the defense and especially in goal by Billy Palmer. Feels great. Um, you know, from the beginning of the year, we knew this team was special. Um, great group of guys. We gelled so well together on and off the ice. Um, we knew it was coming. We played a great uh, close game against Assumption. Thought for sure we deserved to win that game. And then uh, we had a little bit of letdown on uh, Tuesday against uh, Southern New Hampshire, but we came out ready to play tonight and it showed on the scoreboard. Yeah, we had, a, we had a good week of practice, especially after that um, tough loss on Tuesday. Um, you know, Coach Borges, Coach Baldino, Coach Hagney, we had good systems in place coming in this game, and we knew that if we played to the ability that we, we know we can, uh, we were going to get the win. Yeah, I mean, it gets all the boys on the bench fired up, especially with Big Hit. And, I mean, it came from our, came from our fourth line guys, our first line guys. Um, all of our decor played unbelievable tonight. So, um, yeah, that definitely gives us a, a boost during the game, and I think it showed. Yeah, definitely our best defensive performance. Um, we played consistent through all three periods. Um, it was definitely my easiest game to play this year. Uh, our D really just limited shots to the outside, and when I had a tough save to make, I was able to make it. So, um, I just saw a guy crashing to the back door, and I saw he was open, so I knew that that was my guy. I knew that the guy uh, with the puck didn't really have a chance because our D-man kept him outside, so that allowed me to focus on the guy uh, right in front to make the save. Yeah, it feels great. Um, after a tough start, uh, hopefully we can get things going. We just obviously beat Franklin Pierce and we have him again next weekend, so hopefully we can keep things rolling.